Uh, John Neal, and um, I'm the facility manager for the Palomino Valley okay. um, Wild Horse and Burrow Center, and then I oversee this contract here. Troy Adams is uh -huh. the contractor who okay. has the contract for holding and caring for these horses. So then this is a privately owned facility? Privately owned, yes. It's a five-year contract. Okay. Yeah, we're in the second year for this option year, and then it <laughs> goes up incrementally the next three more option years. The average length of stay in short-term holding anymore is in the 200-day 200, 200 range. Well, basically what this facility is, it's an overflow facility for Palomino Valley. Palomino Valley is the main preparation and holding facility for horses removed from Nevada's rangelands. And then <clears throat> we, can't hand, we don't have the capacity to handle all the horses that are removed, so a lot of them come over here as overflow. So today we're just going to drive up and down the pens. I'll stop and explain to you what's in each pen um, for the most part. Currently there's about 2,100 horses here that are marked, which I mean by marked is freeze branded. And we have about 250 newborn foals that have been born here this year. Um, the facility can hold up to about, can hold up to 2,850 horses under the contract. Um, we don't put that many in here just because we have, you need more room for mares and babies and different age classes and things like that. Are these still calico? Um, we still have calico horses here. Are they the red tags? Uh, you have to look at the numbers. Okay. These are three. No, these are three thousands in here. So. This calico starts with what number? Zero, 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 zero. Okay. To 1922? No, less. Now, John, what is the why the rump the, the rear rump brand? Um, why the rear rump brand? <coughs> yes. Uh, because those these horses are um, going to long-term pastures. So when they go to long-term pastures in, we have long-term pastures in <coughs> Oklahoma, Kansas, South Dakota, where we um, turn horses out on 10, 20,000 acres um, of pasture land. And when we do that, we have to cut their neck ropes off and neck tags um, so they don't get hung up on anything. But we still need to ID, ID the horses. So the neck tags that you see around their neck those are the numbers that get stamped on, on their rumps. We have six rows of pens here, and um, each, each row is five pens deep, um, except this row and the next row we split them in half. But, um, what we have in here is just some um, young, young uh, stud colts that still need to be gelded. And then, um, The next row are mares, young mares, and yearlings, and um, and four and younger fillies. But they so, have butt brands, so you're putting four and younger at long term. Some of them are going to long term just because we get, it's a cheaper way to feed them. Well, and you already have like nine thousand in short term that are available for adoption. We have, uh, this is row five, and for the majority of it, it's all yearling fillies. And um, up at the very end, I think we have a pen of mares that were poor, poor condition mares that we've been refeeding, and they're starting to pick up and look good. Um, on the right are mares and foals. Um, this first pen here were uh, colts that came in from winter gathers on their mares, uh, so they're a lot older. And then the next pen would be colts that were born in May, and then it goes to colts that were born in April. There's a couple pens of those, and then colts that were born in March. Right here. 
Or something. I think they're 22. What came after? 3201. Yeah. They, 3 4. They, they called off the Ely roundup because of the. Okay, but not that many horses. 3471. 2226. There's some bumps on their chest from bumping on the bar right there. We're in that, when they're in that growing stage where um, sometimes they get pushed into it, they get a hematoma, which is a bruise, mm -hmm. and uh, we lance them and drain them. And, um, or sometimes if they're not real big, we just leave them alone and they just reabsorb on their own. So would you call that one there a big one? Yeah, that one will probably get in and lance. And what's in it? Which one? Just fluid. Fluid, not blood. Just, no. So it's like a blister or something? Yeah, just like a big blood blister is what it is. Right in front of us right there. Yeah. There's actually a horse race in front Yeah, not as big yet. And that's just from going over that metal yeah, so many just times. Yeah, when they're at that certain height, they'll bump into that or a horse will bump them from behind it. Oh yes, we'd like to see those. So you have horses from all the roundups. I mean, basically, all it's a hodgepodge. Yeah, yeah, there's a hodgepodge of different herd management areas here. And they they just get separated by their sex and ages. By so sex and age, they get all classified together. And, yeah. Okay. And how long have these horses been here? Well, the calico horses were the first ones to come in here in um, about almost would be two years uh, this December. So, mm -hmm. December twenty eighth.